Alrighty folks, welcome to another Nixon Overland Bud Nixon Snow Day Adventure on a Jeep. Today is uh, going to be an interesting one. Today is going to be a day when we get to possibly hit the last snowfall or last snowstorm of the 2023-2024 season. Uh, supposedly we're expecting anywhere two to five inches up in the hills. It's Monday, everybody's at work. So we're gonna go and do some work. So let's hit the road, get some gas and uh, check out what uh, nature has gotten for us. So today's video gonna be brought to you on a JLUR Jeep Wrangler that a customer dropped off to uh, do some troubleshooting electronics. We had an intermittent issue with four low not engaging electronically, uh, thus causing us problems with sway bar and uh, lockers. So hopefully we got that figured out. So now we're gonna run out to our one of our favorite locations at Elk Lake and see basically what we have come up with as far as our repairs so are we going to have a happy customer or are we going to have to do some more work so stay tuned enjoy the show i'll try to do as much talking as i can or as little talking as i can to uh, make it a little more fun to you so the story is pretty simple get some fuel and hit the road jack right so what's the story here? Uh, again, uh, customer brought in the Jeep having a four low, four high uh, electronics issue. I'm gonna pull that way. Because the problem was with the fact that when uh, four low was engaged, uh, it would be intermittent, meaning that if it would, basically it would go into whatever mode, you know, like neutral mode, if you wanna call it that way, but not neutral gearing wise. Because uh, four low would just become a two low, because we have the front axle disconnect on the JLs now. Uh, in our case, basically, uh, the only would you know basically it was rear wheel drive in low, uh, and it was intermittent, so it was hard to troubleshoot. We changed out, or the customer prior to bring it to me changed out the sensor on the transfer case uh, to prevent it from going to limp mode, which it did before, I guess, and then that was the idea. Maybe that's what was causing uh, the problem initially. Uh, and the problem would show up, you know, from time to time. But with all that said, you know, it's hard to do anything. So uh, what we ended up doing is going through the wire harness and looking for any broken wires or any misconnections. Uh, and then we came up on a, a sensor plug on top of the transfer case which had um, some basically damaged wiring and once that got repaired uh, and we believe that's what was causing the intermittence but per customer's request hey he says nixon take it out to the snow test it out the way you test things out and uh let's see if we get a uh, a working um, you know working setup i did test the jeep out after first initial repair uh, we were hoping maybe that was the problem. We were playing with other electronics and adjustments of the cable system Because for low would pop and <coughs> pop out back into neutral uh, So I, I ran out with the Jeep back if anybody watched my uh, Instagram stories I took the Jeep out to a lolly with my son and uh, We did a little snow run there and uh, the issue was there and it just was very frustrating I mean, to the point of no return, I was like, wow, this is just ridiculous, right? I mean, the, the rig wouldn't just drive anywhere, obviously, because, you know, no lockers, no proper furlough, only two-wheel drive in the back. I mean, just terrible. So anyways, now that we have the problem hopefully solved, um, I figured, you know what, let's make the testing the right way. And the same day, we're getting hit by another beautiful spring snowstorm and... Uh, you know that gives us an opportunity to try this out so we're back on the highway 22 heading towards uh, Cascade Mountains towards Detroit and uh, let's see what this uh, trip will bring to us 
A little rope construction on our way. We're at the Big Cliff Dam down the Highway 22. Alrighty. We are next to Brambush River. Getting closer and closer. Got a couple of these interesting stop plus seed when lane is clear so we stop lane is clear off we go looks like we got some uh, damage here on the road we gotta be interesting the forecast is calling for some fresh snow up in the hills oh and i already see snow up ahead this is the end of april man Totally snow up there. Alrighty, let's get to the dis our dislocation or location. Get to the location uh, where we can air down and head up the hill. Alright, to answer a basic question. What is Elk Lake Road or Elk Lake Route or Elk Lake location itself? Uh, it's uh, about seven miles, roughly seven miles, eight miles maybe away from uh, Brightonbush Highway, which is, connects uh, De city of Detroit or town of Detroit to roughly town of uh, Estacada, Oregon, um, where it becomes the Highway 46. Uh, on the other side, Highway 224. There's a bunch of names of it. Uh, this is one of the most probably notorious roads known back in the day in my youtube channel so uh this is a nf 4696 i believe that comes off the brighton bush highway highway 46 that connects to 224 up north uh in mount hood forest where uh we're, as you're heading to estacada from detroit so if you're coming from sisters or salem and you come you're gonna pop into detroit you're gonna take uh th this highway from uh, detroit marina this is usually the staging area for a lot of people, right under the power lines, right after the turn off from the highway. This is the area where everybody will leave their trailers or their RVs or their rigs. And in most cases, that's where you're going to air down. In our case, this is late April, almost May. We're going to head up the road. Uh, it goes another maybe mile, mile and a half uh, paved, and then it turns left. Uh, that goes up to the actual, uh, you know, the, the road that actually takes you up to Elk Lake. And... Uh, that's where it turns gravel. That's where it turns where you don't, you know, they say you don't want to bring any trailers or you do not want to be driving any two-wheel drive vehicle. And we're going to find out how the conditions are because we are expecting snow. And it is obviously raining in the lower elevations while we're expecting snow up higher. All right, this is where you're taking the left turn off the pavement and this is 4697 trailers not recommended remember, remember that this is used to be a beautiful camping site down the stream there or by the stream i should say so we're on a gravel road a little bit of washboard um, let's get up and see how far we can get up before we start seeing snow on the ground so hopefully you guys are seeing this we're 2200, 2300 roughly elevation. And what do you know? We got snow coming down and we got fresh snow on the sides. So this is gonna be a beautiful snow run. Yeah. Damn, this is gonna be exciting. No, well, not gonna be exciting. This is exciting. What am I talking about? It's a gruta. April 29th today, I think. And we got snow coming down on the ground what do you say Woo! this is awesome let's see the infamous gravel pit beautiful oh look at that that's the gravel pit and it's snowing isn't that beautiful this thing, this thing is doing pretty good. 
that's our way let's get going are you gonna be participating in this video like I am so check this out clean the lens so you know how this is right in order for a video to make it be all like cool like you need to know how it works to run around after the camera Just for the view, just for the view of the viewer, consider how much fuel is being wasted by all the running around by your sincerely yours favorite YouTuber. And I'm not talking about necessarily myself because I mostly don't do this. But when you're watching a video of some YouTuber and their car goes by the camera once, twice, three times, five times, guess what? That's what they're doing unless they have a camera crew running around which also takes a lot of fuel and everything but regardless hey this is not about this this video is going to be about this oh gorgeous 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 let's see where's the window mm. many know me say this word it's called lipata snowflakes spring snowflakes Oof. definitely a good recharge for Nixon look at that beauty and we're just starting we're still at only 2500 feet elevation we're crawling up to another 1500 And this pretty. Look at this. It's all fresh. Oh, it definitely dumped. So let's see how, how good Jeep looks doing this. You guys ready to watch? Ah! I had snow fall right behind my. See how this turns out. And yes, this video was nothing about this video wasn't this part of the video was not about you know jeep's performance in the snow it was just to show you how pretty and beautiful nature is right now oh sweetness it's exciting i haven't been up this road for quite some time and i believe we will find actually tricky really deep snowy parts so let's get going We're hitting a whole six inches of fresh powder. Crazy, crazy, crazy. There's just some extreme snow wheeling. Extreme snow wheeling. Extreme, extreme spring snow wheeling. So, you're gonna air down right here. And 
going to for a low probably. There's uh that sounds like a getting hot engine. And I'm not pushing it too hard. But you're gonna see a unique, unique uh print here. Um they're very very unique. And uh, for that we're gonna go to a vertical story on my phone because that's gonna be Instagramable. As you're wheeling down the Forest Service Road, especially in the fresh snow, you will find some interesting prints. And you will know them once you see them. And you will know them if you know you're not that kind of person for the most part. But this is Prince of an unsuccessful snow trip. You see that print? That, uh, that's an unsuccessful snow print. Why unsuccessful? Because they couldn't go any further. I don't know how long they are, but they're obviously before this snowfall, which is not a lot, but oh man, it's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Just beautiful. So, let's, uh, let's make it happen. Let's go get air down and uh, see what we can do. I think you can see me right here, right there. Let's see, good enough. So we're gonna use this air down tool. Okay, so. 20, we're gonna air down. So probably about, and I'm just gonna go five, maybe seven. I don't know. What do you guys are down to? Comment below. Got my gators on. It's actually enough of this funny white snow that you wanna be with gators on. And if you are a true off-roader, you're going to carry two because you can do two tires at a time. So start first one, about 5-7 PSI ahead, and then you can do the next tire in a row. And then just keep going until you hit all fours. Don't forget to stare. I'm having a hard time seeing any balloony tires are so big and so thick on the sidewall so I hit 8 and I'm gonna stop right there and if we're not having any good luck with that we're gonna go ahead and drop down to 5 or 4 We'll see how we do at eight. See, second one coming up. And it's got a little ways to go. All right, moment of truth. Let's see how we're gonna do. Slippery. 
Slippery snow. You gotta love them in. You know what that means? Air down to four psi. Full air down. That's a good, good sign to do a full air down. Dumping, dumping. It's dumping snow just like we're dumping air out of the tires. So, so let's see how we do now. Did you see that beautiful crawl? What it's all about is flotation. What it's all about is finding that perfect sweet spot. And every rig and every tire is different. So don't ask your buddies. You know, one comedian said, he was asked a question one time. I'm gonna go down a rabbit hole. One comedian said, he was asked a question, Michael Jr. actually, if he's watching. So Michael Jr. said that he was asked a question about when does he know when he becomes a professional comedian? And you can find out the answer <laughs> from, he, from watching his show. When will you know that you are fairly sufficient and experienced snow wheeler? Wheeler, sand doer, and just, I guess, overland or off-roader, right? Well, that would be one. Man, I'm going to be talking a lot in this video and this episode you know is when you stop asking your buddies how low they're going down because you're not sure about yourself so when you're sure about how much you need to go down is i honestly believe that's when you actually can truly say you know your vehicle well enough you've driven it well enough you know your tires abilities your vehicle's abilities yes this vehicle ability and tire ability are two different things and i'm not gonna go into that but did you see that the fine line when you find it the vehicle just crawls so let's make some more beautiful footage of us crawling through this beautiful winter wonderland or oh, spring wonderland i should say Woo! it's definitely snowed enough to be us dragging our center diff i mean granted we're deflated a lot but let's go put the camera up for another beautiful shot for you guys to see Man, the white Jeep. Can't see it. Hopefully that was a view. Those who are learning the Jeep just like me right now. So we have sway bar disconnect as you see the sway bar is disconnected I do not have any lockers going this is what's going on with the screen our altitude is 3812 for those interested in GPS coordinates 44 49 14 north 122 5 36 west drivetrain here you go okay for low let's go Let's see, accessory gauges, pitch roll, we knew on that kind of, and let's go. Back in that snow beautifully, and look how it's dumping, Whew. Whew. I haven't seen the snowfall like that for a few months now.
This is beautiful. A lot of, due to the snow melt, a lot of off camber spots. So you just gotta crawl through those. Sometimes you gotta power through them. You know, it helps to keep the old tracks, but old tracks at times, I'm guessing you guys are gonna be able to see it. So I'm gonna wipe this real quick. So there's two lines right there. That's old tracks. And you almost don't want to stay in them at times, but at times you do want to stay in them. See, now I stopped on uphill and I got myself bugged down a little bit on the slicky stuff. There we go, a little throttle, feather it, easy. Up, okay. We're bumping into some kind of obstacle. So, here we go, let's try this again. Oh yeah. And slowly, you gotta just gotta keep those tires grabbing. Crawl it, crawl it. It's just like rock crawling, just like sand. If you feel the momentum going, you keep the momentum. Don't over throttle. Don't over slow down. Don't over steer. Because if you over steer, then you're climbing too much uphill. And as you're climbing uphill, you're obviously making your rolling a lot more difficult. So slowly, slowly, let the throttle do its job. Trust me, you're not in a rush. So in our case, here's a little problem that I'm foreseeing. I'm off camber. I don't know what my pitch is. I'm really close to that tree right there, and there's another one. So maybe as I was backing up, I'm less than two feet away from that tree right there. So if I stay on it, and you should see a little uphill section there if I stay in that the rear will probably get dragged into the tree and we don't want that so in this case you back up get yourself on the foot on the throttle a little bit and see if you can make it you know throttle through it not always it works but sometimes it does booyah see definitely helped made me feel a little bit more sure about what I'm doing as well I mean we're just crawling oh man so keep in mind no lockers we're not locked at all still no lockers do i need a locker i don't know i don't think i do i like to wheel with open diff because when you get stuck then the lockers come in handy i mean what's the point of learning how to drive with all the tools you already have in your shed try to learn with just basic hand tools right you know what, maybe we get lucky and see a black bear today too. So beautiful. This is just uh, just just wonderful snow wheeling. Do I shut up or keep talking? <laughs> oh man. This is definitely nice. Reminds me of snow catting. Snow come down a little bit calm down a little bit i should say calm okay we have a washout looks like or maybe nothing major nothing major still beautiful out here look at that i mean just wonderful gorgeous god is a wonderful creator oh look at that that's a road to dunlop lake i think isn't it yeah look at that that's a nice nice Let's go explore it, right? Let's get ourselves straightened out first. Probably a good idea. I'm feeling old. I'm not liking this off camber to get out. And 40s make it tough to get out. So let's see what we got. See that little red light in there? And this thing is unresponsive. This is the exact reason why. I simply do not use this as much as I probably could or should. The red light is on again. I replaced the battery, completely power cycled it. So GoPros were giving me problem. I went away from GoPros. Osmo Action DJI did, did better, but still just, oh, I'm stuck in the middle of recording and I'm hating this because I cannot bring the footage to my viewers because of crappy equipment. And I don't know what's up with it. I just want to smack it like a hammer which maybe make a video of me just running this thing all over the jeep 
Huh. <laughs> Hopefully this time I'm recording. So, DJI took a crap, froze up on me, don't wanna work, whatever. I'm gonna get rid of it. In case I cannot pull up the footage of the card there, what's going on, there's a creek, there's a off camber situation and it's like four foot drop there and obviously we don't want to go there so for those who are curious how you do this you try to stay a high line it's nothing extremely crazy i'm not trying to dramatize something that's not uh supposed to be dramatized it's just basic snow wheeling um but you know it makes cool content ah, just like this Nothing better than the pure white fresh snow. Nothing. I mean, there's Jesus. Jesus is better. Again, no lockers. Gotta break that the center section so the rear has easy time rolling over. If you don't, you're going back and forth. Oh yeah. Wouldn't it be fun if I got a drone up right now and try flying this, in this? I mean, look at these conditions. Oh man, just gorgeous. Sun came out. Krasata, lepata. What's going on, Mr. Nikolai? <laughs> Got myself buried balls deep. So there's a, as you see, washout. I'm um, probably five, six feet base here. So it seemed like I fell into something while I was recording the drone footage. 
and I didn't catch the momentum to, oh, that squeak is gonna drive me nuts. Anyways, so let's get the winch out, hook to one of the trees, get ourselves out really quick. All right, I don't think video captured, but you can see my tracks up to that stump, the, the I don't know, rotten one. I didn't have a tree saver. I spaced out on taking one, assuming that there was one in the vehicle. I knew there was a winch controller and the, you know, obviously winch, but I didn't check on the tree saver. So, worst case scenario, you can always run off the tree, a rock or whatever, in our case, I figured, you know what, I'm not gonna ruin a tree. Stump is already a stump. It's the worst case scenario. So, uh, you saw me that I did not go through all the way with the winch. I just made myself a little walkway. So right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to get through this. Where is the best spot? No, oh, probably front, yeah? Yeah, front view. All these gnarly washouts. And then we're still we're still not there yet. <laughs> Spring snow wheeling is fun. Maybe for that exact reason. So let's see what we can do. Momentum. You gotta keep that momentum. Whew. I'm just sinking knee deep here. So, anyways, momentum. Look at that rut. Brrr. These are 40s, baby. <laughs> 13 540s. Well, let's get going. Beautiful skies. Are you enjoying this video? Do comment below. Throw a thumbs up, like, whatever, you know. Maintain this channel, usually what they, yeah, call to action. Hey, share, like, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You're kind of late to the party, but hey, I try to bring videos when I can. So, <laughs> that's a rabbit hole. If you know, you know. So, uh, we're going to drive this. But I'm going to fly a drone. I'm going to drone this. I wanted to walk this to give you an idea, you know, by 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 this uh, angle. So, that's, uh, I'm going to say that's about four feet right there. Um, from ground to there, probably four. From ground to there, about six. I mean, that's, you know, they're not bad. They They, they look maybe terrible, but hey. That's all, that's what all the drama is about. So let's get the drone up in the sky and get you guys some good footage.
That was nuts. Hopefully drone passes through all that gnarly, gnarly spring snow. Big puddle, still a lot of snow. Elk Lake definitely ain't gonna be open for Memorial Day, at least for, not for regular folks on the regular vehicles. I should say regular folks, but not with some regular vehicles. Beautiful. Elk Lake overlook right there. That's kind of fun. I thought I closed it. Oh, never mind. Maybe I didn't. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. All that whiteness. Still a bunch of ice probably in the lake. Let's go check it out. Burly and early. Last little stretch before the lake. Whew. Look at that right there. That's some deep, deep washouts. Nice. Well, seems like I can confirm the fact that Jeep performs as it should. We got charging going on. Tripod was a little picture. Beautiful, almost a bluebird day. I mean, just gorgeous all right we are here those who've been here and those who've seen the videos before a lot of times you'll see me posting the snow levels based on the how you how much of a restroom you can see and you know signage just hidden tucked away there's still plenty of snow just beautiful blue skies today just gorgeous it is simply gorgeous and we're still in the snow levels kind of but snow has definitely been trees been shedding the snow for sure it's about zero degrees 32 uh, 32 fahrenheit zero celsius so let's see what we can grab a little snack maybe and slowly start heading home we're here jeep did great can't complain uh stay tuned for the rest i guess Found ourselves a 
parking spot for a little tea time and a little snack. Time to wrap this up. This has been a beautiful snow wheeling day. This is a creek that flows into uh, Elk Lake and it's a legal water crossing, FYI, as this is part of the campground. And you can see there's tables sticking out over there. There's a few camping spots here, actually. Bridge and all. So, uh, if you paid attention, I went down and I crawled back up in reverse and down, you know, just kind of made sure that my passage out will be simpler instead of breaking it this way. So, you know, you're doing less damage, obviously, to the ground. Same thing here. I slowly backed in a couple of times, kind of made sure what my best plan of action is. Left side was dropping down, drooping axle, meaning less traction, meaning higher chances of centering out, you know, bottoming out on the belly uh, with the rig in this area. Because if you bottom out, then you, you know, get the droop from the front and rear axles and it's winch time, I mean. So you can see how flat I was hitting that spot right there. So just matter of a little momentum once you got the assurance, lockers on. No point of not using the tools you already have at your disposal in certain times. So hopefully everybody enjoyed the show. And I guess we'll see you on the next one. Maybe some bonus features right here. But for now, I think pretty much Nixon going to be out. Probably enough footage already for you guys. Feel free to ask about uh, the Jeep if you have any questions. Uh, FYI, 40 by 13.5 tires. I'm not sure about the lift, but lift is probably five and a half. I believe it's uh, Rubicon Express lift. Uh, bead locks, I'm aired down quite a bit. Tires are Mickey Thompson, uh, Baja Boss. Here you go, Baja Boss, Mickey Thompson. Just good old stuff. These are panels that I'm making. So if you got a JL or JK and you want the set, you could probably make a set for JK too, but this is... These were designed for jail and they're solid, look at them. You can have your buddy lean on this and not damage. Yes, you gotta drill three holes there and put rib nuts in there to secure it nicely. But hey, it's good. Uh, haven't had any problems of branches sticking through. Got a lot of critique on that from a group uh, on Facebook, but whatever, you know, most people don't even know what the heck it's for or why would you do something like this. But hey, whatever tickles one's pickle, right? Until the next one, guys. Take care.